Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we're gonna solve another algebraic equation where we have x times x times x plus x is equal to 10. So in this equation, we're gonna find the value of x. Please feel free to pause this video and see if you can attempt this question. And we're gonna look at this question in just a bit. Here's where I'm gonna put my solution. And in the meantime, you can also look at my other videos to see how we solve other algebraic equations. Okay, so let us now begin. So we have x times x times x plus x is equal to 10. Now let us see what we have here. We have x times x times x. And we know that whenever we are multiplying powers with the same base, we rewrite the base and add the power. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So we have x to the third power plus x is equal to 10. And then we can further bring the 10 over to the left hand side by subtracting it from the right and also on the left. So that gives us x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now if we look at our number term right here which is negative 10. And negative 10 can be written as negative 8 minus 2. And we can use this substitute 10 for this value into our equation. Now we would have x to the power of 3 minus 8 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. In doing this, it makes our equation a lot easier to solve as we can take 8, which is a cubic number, and subtract it from x cubed. Now we will have x cubed minus 2 cubed plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now looking at what we see here, we have x cubed minus 2 cubed, which is an example of the difference of 2 cubes. So here is our rule for the difference of 2 cubes. If we see a cubed minus b cubed, we can expand this by having a pair of double brackets, one with a minus b and the other is a squared plus ab plus b squared. This therefore means that wherever we see x cubed minus 2 cubed, we will have a pair of double brackets where x minus 2 is in the first bracket and in the other bracket, we will have x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. Now for the next part where we have x minus 2, we're going to factor out positive 1. So we have plus 1 bracket x minus 2 close bracket is equal to 0. Now looking at what we have right here, we have x minus 2 in brackets. So we can factor out x minus 2. So that will actually give us x minus 2 in one bracket. And in the other bracket, we will have x squared plus 2x plus 4. And we can take in the positive 1. So that's going to give us 4 plus 1. Then we close our brackets and have that equal to 0. Now we have what we call a zero property rule where if two numbers multiply together to give us 0, either one of them is equal to 0 or both of them equal to 0. So here we have x minus 2 is equal to 0 or we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now where we have x minus 2 is equal to 0, we can solve for x by adding 2 on both sides of the equation, where 2 on the left hand side will be cancelled out and on the right hand side we'll just have 0 plus 2. So x therefore equals 2 or we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 and we solve x in this case by using our quadratic formula. So here we have a equals 1 and b equals 2 and our number term which is c is equal to 5. Now let us write out our quadratic formula where we have x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we use this formula to solve x by simply plugging in the values of a, b and c into the equation. So we will have x is equal to minus b which is 2. So we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 2 squared minus 4ac which is 4 times 1 times 5 all over 2 times 1 
So we actually simplify this equation as follows. We have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 all over 2. So now we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 as 4 minus 20 is negative 16 and we have all of that over 2. So now we can actually simplify this a bit further where we have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16 all over 2. Now we know that the square root of negative 1 is i, our imaginary number. So now we can write our equation out as follows. x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus when the square root of 16 is 4. So we have negative 2 plus or minus 4 i all over 2. Now we can tidy our answer a bit further by having our equation written in one straight line. So we have negative 2 over 2 plus or minus 4i over 2. We know that 2 into negative 2 is going to give us negative 1. So we can cancel out the 2's and that's going to give us negative 1 plus or minus. We have 2 into 4 that gives us 2. So here we have it. Negative 1 plus or minus 2i is our solution for x. So here are our three solutions for x. We have x is equal to 2 for our first solution. And for the second solution, we have x is equal to negative 1 plus 2i. Our third solution is that x is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. So there you have it. These are all our three solutions of x. We have here two complex solutions and one real solution. We can go ahead and try verifying our real solution, which is x is equal to 2. So we can plug that into the equation and see if we get our result to be true. So we have x times x times x plus x is equal to 10. And as we just say is that x is equal to 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 10. Now, if we were to go ahead and multiply all our 2's, we know that 2 times 2 times 2, that's going to give us 8. And then we have plus 2 is equal to 10. And there we have it. Our real solution of x is true. x equals 2. If you like more content like this, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned for more math videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Until then, take care.